Hello, hello, hello. I'm a painted dog and we're back with Cabela Speak Game Hunter. Let's check to see which hunt we can take on today. Let's take this one. Desert Monsters. Hunt free 10 point plus mule deer. 100,000 gear credits. I really like that. Let's go for it. Ooh, something over there. I don't even saw that, but I already have 20% here, yeah, I don't know why. Ah, uh, the wind is blowing in that direction. And I might have saw me. That's a bit nasty, don't you think? I feel that's a bit sneaky. But hey, I can't change anything about that now. Let's walk up a bit closer. Spot in here, think. Okay, let's go into craft position. <whistles> Don't mind me. Ooh. I believe that's a 12 point. I don't... I'm from going with the this guy. I know he's a baited animal. Ugh, stomach shot. Good shot. We don't recommend shooting a baited animal, but you got lucky this time. And hey, we got him. We should just play on to the next time. I don't know these birds. I don't know if you can get anything if you shoot this X amount of them, but I don't have a shotgun yet. Great! Two more to go. Okay, they are spooked. They are spooked. Hmm. With that in mind, let's go to one of these areas. I don't know why, it's just below the game. Still have two rounds left that magazine. That's fine. I got a noise warning indicator in this direction. see anything. Now let's use this. And let's see if we can spot anything. I don't see anything. Do you? Ah. Uh. Oh. As soon as I got out. Oh, it's a female. I don't see any males. That's another female. It might be a male over here. Yep. Eleven. Prone. There you go. to ensure a clean shot. I took that one missed. Seriously. Did it either ribbon just stop? But, uh, I'm really annoyed with that. But let's go and follow this blood trail. Might be another one here if I haven't spooked it already. Let's 
which I believe I did. Yeah, there they go. Now, the guy changed direction. You see this? I can hear feet, but from where? Hello? You are selling cookies? Watch the wind. You don't want to get caught flat footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Now I run away. I'll find you now. Let's get back to our blood trail. Okay, he died. I would have liked it, but I'll take anything I can get. Yeah. How does this guy run? Zigzag. Nah, I think that's probably how I would do it. An open expanse like this, someone was hunting me. In a straight line, it's for you. And that's a clear shot. Said in a southwesterly direction. I don't know. He's really taking me on a old goose chase. find him. Then we already have two of the three. And you see now, now I'm going to use another 20 minutes just to find them the last one, if I'm that lucky. This guy is in direction a lot. Is that all the times I spooked him? Be so lucky that that one of those are is a male, but they're right next to our trophy. I'm really tempted for the extra gear credit. Make up of a stomach shot. This. Five gear credits for this day. Now let's go crouching position so we can see what it is. Couldn't really see, but it looks like prong on. Really sounded like a little bird. Okay, at the watering sites now, so let's go to this site. It's a long way away, but we can have a nice sprint. Oh, I'll go through there. That would have been awesome. Hey, this can't be users. There you go. Ooh. Another female. Another female 
and a couple of strong ones. The wind can change without warning. Nope. Always make sure you adjust your position to be downwind from your targets. Let's just spook these guys. Once find another male. We have until five, and it's now almost eleven. How could this guy be so oblivious? A wrong one. I don't expect you'll get another good shot here today. The local <laughs> game needs some time to settle down. As you can see, there's no mule deer listed in this area. We find a couple of find a couple of herds. No, it's not always, but if you go to that region, you will find something. Or if you run through a region that hasn't got demarcated or demarcated area for the certain game species that you won't find there. Okay, can get lucky or unlucky. If you want to see it, let's see. If there's a male in this herd, then we can just. Ah, no males. Site. If not, it's not the end of the world. That sounds a bit menacing. I would really like a game where snakes and other predators are really a threat. Now I know there's some bears in here and then you can get trampled by moose as you saw in one of my previous videos. But I would really like if there's something that can actively stalk you. Yeah, that's a wrong one. In this region I quite often use the stands. Because it gives you a little bit more elevation since the animals in this region see you from about 300 yards away it would seem it just makes sense to use a little bit more elevation yeah come on not what i was looking for but uh, that's fine let's go to that stand Let's run or run. There's no idea we are here. That's fine. I'm not looking for her, so let's just leave her be. spot anything. Nope. Stay flexible on your approach. The wind could shift and make a shooting spot unusable. Now, ah, what do we do? Let's go down in this area. Since, since the wind will be blowing our face, that's fine. And I might 
might have just scared them off. Oh. You know what? That's just life. So let's go to this new wave one. I haven't scared them off. They're just behind those bushes or hill or boulders. You haven't really tempted to shoot guys. But you don't shoot birds with a rifle. So let's quickly see what we have here. It's definitely a mule deer. But is it correct size? Uh, I don't know. That's a female, definitely. So let's walk to the stand and have a peek at what we have on the other side. Sadly, he was too small. But hey, I like making music videos nowadays. So that's fine with me. Let's quickly have a peek. Oh, that's a small guy. Almost thought there's a couple more. Oh, you'll be a no. We need a large male. Where are you? There is no other males here. Just sad. Let's take a quick look at our map. Now what? Let's go to that stand over there. Keep seeing that we don't get one, one. a big enough mail. Let's move on. First, first place. We find tracks along the way. Might be tempted to follow them for a while. Just to see what we have. And that's wrong horn, wrong horn. It will be a female. Nah. We really just run around this boulder field and stood still for a while. Mm hmm But I won't be so lucky that it's a nice big mule deer. I won't be that lucky. Wrong one. Changes in the wind direction can ruin your hunt if you're not paying attention and staying downwind from your quarry. Trying my best. Just calm down a bit, please. What did I tell you? I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes searching for a third one. And it's already 12 minutes now since I said that. I want you. I don't want any of you. And that's my problem. Nah, that's not what we are looking for. Let's move on. That. Getting. A little pretty. I know it's a problem, but it sounds like two birds. 
Ooh. Don't see any other mule in that direction. Let's walk around this. Let's walk up to this stand. Yeah, I, I can hear you already. I always bitch and moan about hunting from a stand or a blind. When I have to shoot from him. Now that I don't have to shoot from him, I use him. But in this region, you can use, I'd say use whatever you have at your disposal. That's a mule deer female. That's a prong one. Another mule deer female. Couple of prong one back there. Loads of prong one in this area. Nah. Just wasting our time now. How can it be so difficult to find a thin point plus mule deer? Damn it. Okay, they are going to the feeding area now. I don't think we'll find anything in the feeding area. But let's have a look. We might just be lucky. But at this stage, I believe it's luck that dictates our hunting success. As usual. How do I go there? Or do I no, at least go in that direction? Well, there was no hunting in that area. Let's go there. As soon as we find this bird, this bird mule deer, at the end of this video, so this might be a longer one. Just calm down, get down, get a cup of coffee or tea or cool drink, whatever you want to drink. Just stay calm and relaxed. I know you're shouting at the screen because of my idiotic running around, but you have to be used to it by now. Seriously. Wrong one. And as soon as I have to hunt wrong one, I won't be able to find any. Now I find them everywhere. But I guess that's Murphy's Law, eh? Probably be the wind can more. change without warning. Always make sure you adjust your position to be downwind from your targets. But just to be safe, let's have a look. Nice mule deer. I believe that pronghorn has an identity crisis. Oh, a baby mule deer. Not what I was looking for. Let's wait a while and see. Bob or big, big problem might be coming around the bend. Although I truly doubt it. Nah. Let's just go there. Get it over with. If we can't see any now, the chances of it aren't any. I'm just running around cooking everything in my way. That is, I usually don't like games without objectives. For instance, 
Let's say arc, for example. I like the beginning of arc, and then later on, as soon as I get electricity and guns and so on, it's really, I wouldn't say boring, but it's too easy. So usually I start another game and from scratch and then go from there. But with this game, I really like the open hands. Because it's like real hunting. You take whatever you can get. Ah, two, two point move. That's our luck today. And now that I have your attention. Where's your big brother? Let's go back into the crashing position. I think they will still get spooked. But then I can at least see what it is back there. Or hopefully see. Oh, he's scattered in the same direction. Let's go and see if it's any tracks. A female, not what I was looking for. Now let's go upwards. I've really been crossing this map. It's madness. Madness, I tell you, madness. Yeah, I have to say, I really had a long day. I was in the lab from 7 o'clock until 8 night. Basically 13 hours in the lab. I had the betting hand. Almost like a writing hand. Just a bit worse. You ever get a cramp? I didn't even know it was possible. A cramp in your fingers. I got that today. And sadly... It's sadly to say it's not the first time that happened. And it certainly won't be the last time. But it's really bad. And so it hurts like a mother, I have to tell you. Just as I was about to say, I can't believe he hasn't run away yet. No, it's not close. Stay alert for shift and winds. Keep downwind your target. I don't care about the wind at this stage. Guys, I guess I'll pause the video here and we'll be back as soon as I find the other guy. So guys, I basically went ahead and walked another lap of this area basically. And I couldn't find another 10 point plus mule deer. At one stage, I was, I walked basically into a herd. Actually, I sneaked more into the herd, believe it or not. And it was just five point, four point, and I believe an eight point build here. And now we have less than ten minutes left. As you can see, I fired another shot. Basically, just to get more gear credits before the end of this episode. But let's count this down. Five, four, three, two, four, one. Epic fail. Damn it. Why did it freeze there? Why? Let's give us some more time. It's two minutes. After five, but let's see how this goes. I'm not going to quit this. We might be able to find another one because of a glitch. I like it. 
you know how this will work? As soon as we shoot another deer, then the time will run out. Usually it would say end of hunt or something like that. But hey, I don't want to, to moan about an extended hunting period. Just close to. Just keep an eye on the wind. You don't want to be caught up wind of your prey. Uh, that's just our luck. We have extra time and then the wind turns. In the animal's favor. I really don't know what would happen to our time down there. Let's go to the stand. Mike can talk. That can be quite interesting. Sadly, I only have one round left. Oh, it's just wrong one. I really think to just go for a shot now and get this over with, but why do that? Let's see if it gets dark. Already half an hour past our hunting time. Now this will really be a long episode. But I guess you're also interested to see what happens. I don't think they would have gone in We've done the coding for darkness. Let's see. And I wonder if we get a 10 point mule deer now and we shoot and we claim a trophy, will it count as a victory or not? I'm really not sure. But I guess we'll see. Pronghorn. Now there's pronghorn everywhere. Now what? Let's go. Woods. You spook this pronghorn. That's fine. Not looking for pronghorn. So let's run. I will stop recording and then bring you back as soon as I find another one. But I don't know how long. A lucky streak will last. If we can call this a lucky streak. Let's see. Might be able to find another one. Now let's run to this stand. Or walk to the stand. You might be able to spot something. There is something over there, but we'll see now what it is. Except there's a cactus in our way. Two points. That's really sucky. That's a few. I walk through here. See if we can get to. Yeah, I know you saw me. Just run away. We're an hour past our hunting time. Entire hour. I really can't believe we ran into the glitch. Seriously.
And I believe we're on our way to a 45 minutes of video. But this might get interesting. We spot anything here so far? No. But we can hear something up ahead. Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. So let's be sneaky and walk in this ditch. Hopefully we'll benefit from this glitch. But of course I'm, I'm not able to see over this ridge. So is there any way I can get out of this? Let's walk a bit more. I believe there's a blind up ahead. Ah, oh, there it is. We might be able to spot something of interest from there. Older, almost like a mule deer from the side. Let's walk around here. It's already half past six. Just for extra, extra precautionary. Let's do uh. As you can see, it's really just small. But let's put this guy out of misery. Hopefully, that's a spine shot. Yeah, credit. So that's the end of this episode, guys. You have quit your hunt. And we basically didn't complete the hunt. But as you can see, we have 99 problems with a glitch and one. <laughs> yeah, I know that was bad. But thanks for joining in, and I'll see you soon. Cheerio.